Hi, this is Graham Jacock. Education is the enemy of reasoning. Now, why do I say this? Well, it's quite simply, when you look around, we've become obsessed with a piece of paper that says you are qualified in such and such. Now, I want to take two people that have been criticised. One, Ravi Zacharias, for deceiving the world on his qualifications, which I find rather pious and self-righteous when atheists and other such groups who lie about their qualifications in their CVs and education all the time because there's an ongoing joke about lying on your CV. I don't like liars. Now, I want to demonstrate why sometimes it doesn't matter. Because the whole point in the world and the debate between Christians and atheists is we have to use reasoning. Now, I'm, I'm a fan of Bruce Lee. You know, the martial arts guy. And I'm going to upload a video about why bad sight reading is good for martial arts. But it's not very Christian. Something about broken rhythm. Hmm. Now, Back to this video though, we're talking about qualifications. Now as you know, Bruce Lee was a martial artist and he had phenomenal understanding of the movement of his body and his timing of reflexes were amazing. You only have to look with your eyes because that's part of reasoning. Now. Bruce Lee wasn't qualified like if you were to take a, a person from karate. Now, he's qualified because if you look at your teacher, they say, oh, he's got seventh dan, or oh, he's got third dan. You see, they have formal qualifications. And when you go and observe someone, you have respect for someone. But this is the thing with Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee never had a formal recognised qualification. He had to re rely on demonstrating it. And the onlookers use reasoning to discern that Bruce Lee was in fact good. And that is why most of his exponents of his art were qualified. They looked at Bruce Lee and said, this guy knows what he's doing. Now, we have to apply that to Ravi Zacharias and indeed others. Now, it's sad that Ravi lied, but that's the whole point of not being tempted in this world. If you think temptation is a joke, look at Ravi Zacharias, because when you deny certain things in the world, eventually you'll go over the edge. Now, another point I'd like to make is learning a language. Now, I'm at the very beginning of learning Pinyin, the Chinese language, or Mandarin language. Now, how many people have learnt languages without being formally educated on the subject matter? And how many of those people conduct conversations with native born people from of that 
particular language. Now, these people are using reasoning, but not in a, a conscious state. That is the whole point of reasoning. Now, I'll say it again. Education is the enemy of reasoning. So when, when atheists reject reasoning of Christianity, you are doing a disservice to yourself and to others who may follow your decision to reject it. And you're making a mockery of reasoning. Because the irony about qualifications is this. If after a period of 10 or 15 years, then that subject is wiped out. I'm qualified in certain subjects. But if I don't study, then I don't remember them. So, do I have the right to keep that subject on my CV? Am I entirely worthless? So, getting back to Ravi Zacharias, even though he deceived the world, we have reasoning to look at Ravi. I'm not saying all of his conversations or debates or arguments were correct. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, at some point, the audience will connect and recognise that what Ravi is saying makes sense. And sometimes it may not make sense. But just because it doesn't make sense doesn't mean it's wrong at that time. It's just like when you're pronouncing words in a foreign language. You'd get it wrong the first time because you're not understanding the sounds of the language. And that's that could be one of the reasons why we reject arguments. Because we're not prepared to sit down and reread and reread and rethink it. Because life is very short and we have other things going on. This is why debates about apologetics can be sometimes a waste of time. It is better to rely on the Bible itself. Anyway, I think I've said enough on the subject. I hope I've got my point across. Anyway, enjoy your days.